Hi guys, Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, you guys, I'm in my craft room and we're gonna start out this video in my craft room and then we're gonna go back out to like my kitchen bar area where I normally do my Dollar Tree hauls. Um, which I'm not getting in the camera. Um, the reason we're in my craft room is, is because I created this little fantasy candy land type of table and um, there was three girls I've been um, inspired by one is Mik is Michaela um, sugar and something I'll put all three girls down below okay you guys go check out their channel but they always are doing like sweet treat little setups in their uh, craft rooms or whatever area they're doing it in and um, I always collect all this type of stuff and I put it in different areas in my craft room or my bathroom but I decided to make a whole table of it and I want to show you guys so and I thought it'd be a great place to videotape also from so, um, and the reason I'm, I'm, the reason I'm showing you the stuff, even though it's a Dollar Tree haul, is because I got into it and I started using a bunch of stuff that I just recently bought from Dollar Tree. So I thought, let me show you what I got from Dollar Tree and then show you, and I'll show you it in use already. In use, in me decorating with it. Okay, so I'm going to move the camera with my easel. So just... Bear with me. There we go. Okay. And let me see. I'm using my new easel. Let's see if we can go up with it a little bit. See up here at the top. Let me see. Let me get how close we can get. Okay. Up here at the top. This is like a this thing that all this stuff is hanging from all the stuff you see um this is a wedding dress over here because this is not dollar tree i'm just explaining myself what it is is um a headboard hanging on this wall then i have all these pretty hangers padded hangers and i have a wedding dress here and this is i cut these kind of wedding dresses up when i do my shabby chic art my shabby chic work like stuff like this beautiful altered bag things like that okay so you can understand where we're at then on this thing that's hanging on this um headboard with the hangers i bought these um boas i got these from dollar tree so this is probably three of them all together and then the pink ones over here i have those hanging here isn't this bag beautiful this bag is from olivia hernandez she did this one isn't that gorgeous love it we'll probably get closer on that in a minute here's another bag olivia did for me absolutely gorgeous probably get closer on that one too and i've done videos on all this stuff um there's another one that's hiding back here look at that one isn't that gorgeous we should be displaying both how can we do that okay i'll fix that up later so i can display both anyway all right so back over here um let me bring this down a little bit. So you can get those boas at Dollar Tree. I just picked those up and you pick those up in the kids section. And then see this right here, this three tier tray. It's actually a four tier tray. It's a clear one, a pink, a teal, and a clear. You get these at Dollar Tree. You guys, if you want these and you want to make this, um, this three tier, this is a four tier tray, go get these quickly. They always have the clear one, which is on the bottom. You can barely see the clear one, but they're like this, but they're clear. They always carry those like in the party section. This is in the summer section that was with all the pictures, clear pictures and all the summery type of um, dishes, which are going away really soon. So I, was, I wasn't able to find, I was only able to find three of the pinks and like a bunch of the teals and then they always have the clear. So hurry up and get there and see if you can still find the pinks and the teals. The clear they always have and they're in the party section. So I t what I did is I took, so I bought all of these from Dollar Tree, like I said. Then right in the center here is um, one of those uh, glass candle holders. Got those at Dollar Tree also recently. They always have those, you guys. And I took E6000 and I, of course, glued them on each side. So I have a four-tier tray. Then I also, let me take this out of here. I also bought these from Dollar Tree. I bought these recently, but I bought more. And for some reason, like a, 
idiot. I didn't buy these last year when everybody was buying them. And they're the cupcakes. I absolutely think they're divine. I don't know what my problem was. This is the macaroon one. And most of you guys have seen these. They're so adorable. So I did this whole thing with these. And then these are cute. These are little high heels. Aren't they cute? I bought a bag of these from Hobby Lobby in the uh, floral section. And these are from Christmas from 99 cent store. Aren't they cute? Okay. So I have two more. Um, this one's a donut one, which I love donut everything. Anything with donuts and ice creams and unicorns and mermaids. And hopefully you guys are seeing that really good. And then this is the one with the ice cream. Love these. So I have this, and did I show you the macaroon one? I think I showed you the macaroons. And then these are the macaroons. Let's see if this light is too much. Just a second, let me see. No, that one. Let's see if more light's better. Yeah, I think more light was better. Is better, I believe. Sure is bright on my eyes though. Okay. So, let's just put these back. So, I'm just going to show you the few things that are on here. They're kind of more than a few of the things that I got recently from Dollar Tree. There's a bunch of other things on here I won't go through because um, this video will be forever. Is this how I had this? I think this is how I had it. Oh, I think I had it like this. And then this one's in the middle. At least I think that looks better. And at the top, um, this is a whole um, a land, like I call it Land of Sweets Village, that I got from Dollar Tree in January. And a bunch of us got this. I bought probably, I bought $30 worth. So I bought four or five of each thing because I want to have little setups like this everywhere or one big one at Christmas time. I haven't decided. Um, these are the macaroons on the bottom. I haven't bought these recently, but those are those macaroons on the bottom. I'll just take one out so you guys can see. It's all the colors, the pink. In fact, they don't even have the ones like this at Dollar Tree. They have them right now, but they're not as pastel. These ones were gorgeous. This is a pastel pink. They had pastel blue. Um, they had the robin's egg blue. They had a pastel blue, a pastel purple. I think the ones they had the year before are prettier colors, personally. This is some more of those high heeled shoes. I love these. They're like little Christmas decorations, but look how cute they are. I knew as soon as I got them, I was going to use them in my craft room somewhere. Okay, so that's that. Um, what else can I show you that I just recently got from? Oh, the background. See this back here? This is, let me go through it and I can kind of get things out. Hopefully everything doesn't crash. I got this book. Um, it says, uh, Rosie Dinkin Butter uh, Celebrates. And it just has cakes on it. So I just thought this whole land of sweets basically themed would be perfect for this book to be in my background. And it's really, I love, you know what else I love is I love the inside how pretty the inside is love that so shabby chic so pretty and it just the theme of it just went perfectly look at that how to make those it just went perfect with this whole thing so i mean i mean if you want the cookbook to cook with in fact if they have two of them and you want one for display and one to cook with get two of them i think they make great gifts too now the other thing i have back here Hopefully I can get to it without everything crashing. Are these? I'm gonna, I'm not gonna take out the other butterfly. I'm just gonna take out the one. But they have these butterflies at Dollar Tree in the kids section. Um, I got this light blue one. I got like a very light, light, like lime green, but so light you can't even tell it's lime green, which kind of goes with all the pastel colors that I have going on. I want to get a pink one. I haven't been able to find a pink one yet, you guys. And these are the ones that little girls wear. 
I used to have a pink one, so I was thinking that I had one. But as soon as I find one, I will, you know, get one of those. So I bought two of those. The other thing I have back here, and what this is, it's all, it's getting covered up. It's little bits and pieces are um, sticking out, but I think that makes, that's the magic of having the background, little bits and pieces. So isn't this pretty? It says summer, sand, and sun. But what I loved about it was the colors, the, this very pretty blue with the pink and the, um, the flamingos fabulous so that is what's in my background back here let me put this back if i can if i can't i won't so let me see if i can get it back here yeah i got it and there's one other thing that's in the background back there but i have one out here because i bought quite a few of them this here and they and um uh, these are really, really cute. And that's in the background behind this. You can barely see it peeking out if you were looking up close at it. Okay, so those I got recently. Let me see what else I've gotten recently. Oh, let me see if you can. Sorry, you guys, my face just got, <coughs> got in there. <coughs> let me get some water. This right here, these uh, margarita glasses, they're just plastic pink ones. I bought a couple of these, but it's not cute. And then I filled it with, um, and all this on the bottom is Easter grass that I got at Hobby Lobby for 10 cents a bag just a couple days ago. And these are a bunch of eggs in here that I put in here. And um, I got these at Hobby Lobby for like, I don't know, 30 cents a bag. So I bought a ton of them because it looks like little candies. It doesn't just look like little eggs, right? So, and then I have all this grass hanging down from it, which I just think looks awesome. And this is the same, this pink grass is also what I have down here below, which I'll show, show to you guys. Well, you guys can see it. This one right here is all the pink grass. I think it looks fabulous. Okay, the next thing are these. Um, these come in a pack of three. So I bought a bunch of these, you guys. And the reason I and right now they, they a lot of times they have these in the kids section, but right now because it's summer they have them with all the pool stuff, like all the bubbles up at the front of the store. That's where I found them recently. But before that, I found them in the kids section. Have you noticed the theme? I'm finding a lot of stuff in the kids section. Okay, but look how cute these are—the little ice cream cones and they're bubbles. So they have a vanilla. And you're getting three of them for a dollar. You guys, this is excellent if your little girl's having a birthday party and she's having like a sweets birthday party. You could buy these as little gifts to win, playing games, or give them a pack of three of them for, um, you know, a gift to, to the little birthday gifts that you give away. I'm trying to stay out of this video. But see, they're bubbles. See if I can... I'm such a kid. <laughs> I love it. Love it. So I bought, um, I think I bought four packs of these. Four or five, because I'm going to put them in other little, you know, displays like I have here. And like I said, they don't always have them. Sometimes they have them in the toy section. If they don't, they come and go a lot. They don't always have them. So if you do like them and you want to use them in something like this or a birthday party or whatever, pick them up and pick up what you need because they're not always easy to find. And I put that on a little cake plate. Um, let me see if there's anything else that I recently bought. Um, no, but I'll just quickly show you this whole little setup I have going. Um, this is a milk glass and this has a bunch of bunny ears that I've been buying over the years, especially at, um, Easter time. This is a cake plate that's really cute. You can't see it, but it has a sundae on top. I got it for like 50 cents at a thrift store and I used a glass candle holder. Then I have these. You guys, everyone pick those up. These are little high heel shoes that I got from the 99 cent store. Those are on here. 
Um, this is a candle from Bed uh, or from uh, Bath and Body Works, a little pink candle. This, you guys, you guys recognize these? These are in the from the toy section. I bought like three or four of these. I have you know in my craft room, several places in my beauty bathroom. Isn't aren't they cute? I thought it was so cute. Um, I have another one of these back here in teal. Let's put it back here. I'll probably put some type of lollipops and stuff in there. I just need to buy some lollipops to put in there. Okay. This back here is um, from the Trolls. Um, what's her name? Poppy. Okay, my husband bought that for me. My husband bought me the Minnie Mouse, the pink Minnie Mouse. And it's Poppy and pink, of course. These are from Daiso. Love, aren't these fabulous? So I got one in pink and one in the Robin's Egg Blue. Okay. This is, oh, this is from Dollar Tree. I think I, did I get this? I didn't get this recently. But I filled it with a bunch of, I got these for 30 cents at Hobby Lobby, the little um, hearts. So I filled the candy dish with little hearts. And you get this in the toy section at Dollar Tree. This would be something really cute to give away for little gifts. For a little girl's birthday party. Okay, yes, I'm an adult child. Um, these, these right here, these tennis shoe teapots, my husband bought these for me. I think he got them on eBay. Aren't they so cute? Sorry about that, you guys. I think he got these on eBay for me. On eBay, yeah. These are some, um, from the Troll. I love the Trolls, so. These are Troll pins. I got a whole bunch of them in a package. This is another piece of milk glass. I collect milk glass here in my craft room. I have it all over the, my craft room. And this is a bunch of pom-poms I've gotten from Dollar Tree that I've collected. You guys know all of these pom-poms to put on bags and all kinds of stuff. Um... I explained this whole thing already, didn't I? Um, yeah, explained all that already. Um, and then, let me just see if we go down a little bit lower. Perfect. And this is that pink grass. I just picked this up for 10 cents a bag at Hobby Lobby. And I put this down here. These eggs, I got these at Hobby Lobby too, just when I got all the rest of this stuff. I know they're other eggs, but you know how you can get like ceramic eggs and use them all year round? To me, these look like eggs you can use all, all year round. They're like diamond cut. So I have them. See, they don't just look like, they look like candy, don't they? So I thought this would be great to put out on my little candy station. So I have those just hanging out wherever. I have some flowers from Dollar Tree that I put out here. My little flamingo glasses from Dollar Tree I have here. A little cupcake, little tray that um, Olivia, Olivia Hernandez. Hey Olivia! She gave this to me. I better be videotaping. I'll be so mad. Am I? Yeah. And then this is a little shoe I got from a um, thrift store. I just love. Somebody's added that in there. So that is about everything. I have one other thing back there that's a little surfboard, but I can't get to it, and it's being covered. You can see it from a certain angle, but that's it. So anyway, I wanted to share this part of the video with you guys so you can see what I got um, and have it already already using it in um, decor. Let me put this back. There we go. And using it in decor. So, um, yeah, that looks good. You can see it decorated or how I'm using it or what I'm doing with it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and um, continue back on um, in my kitchen bar area where I normally have my videos. And I'll show you what else I got. Okay, let's see you guys in just a second. Hi, guys. Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. I'm coming around. Let me get myself in here. Ugh. Okay, so we're we're now in another location. We're out of my craft room, and we're at the counter that I always use, which is like my kitchen breakfast bar counter area. Okay. Just a second. I'm just making sure you guys can see me, and we're good. We're good. 
So we're continuing on with the Dollar Tree haul. Let's continue on. Okay. So I hope you guys like uh, having that first little part of it in my craft room and seeing how I use my Dollar Tree items in like that little, basically little candy fantasy little display I have in my craft room. So, okay, like I said, I think that might be a backdrop to some videos because um, it's a great little backdrop. So that'd be really cute. So we'll see. All right, I got a bunch of really good stuff. Fun little magical stuff. Uh, eye candy. I've seen these quite a few times. I do not know why I never picked them up. Look how adorable this is. Everything. Ah, oh, love it. Um, let me see if it looks anything different inside. No, just the same. But I just love it. I love stuff like this. I love to take and just put all kinds of goodies like this and throw these in my purse. Um, use them for, um, uh, mixed media, all my like markers and pens and brushes, you know, everything, makeup, whatever. These are great. Hopefully I can find both at the same time. Well, I only have one. Okay, I bought, I picked up a couple different colors of these. You guys, look how cute these are. And they ha they're different. They're like an envelope style. And this is clear. See, it's an envelope style. It's clear, but it has like a Royal Royalist. So there's like pink and purple and all these colors coming through and blue. Yeah, it's playing with the light right now. So you can see, here's the back. Look at all the, it's like Aurora Borealis. It's fabulous. I'm surprised they had this for a dollar. And look at the style. So I bought quite a few of these. I think I bought two of this color and two of another color that's similar to that. We'll get to it when we get to the bag. Um, I was able yes, to find a bunch of the Echo stuff. In this one, I only found a couple of things, but I found the rest of the Echo stuff in when I went to Dollar Tree today, and that'll be in another haul. But I have found all the Echo stuff. Um, and from my very first video, um, my first Get Ready With Me video, um, it's like where I put makeup on and I show you a certain look. Um, my first one, I had a giveaway, which I forgot about the giveaway. <laughs> so right after this, I'm gonna announce the giveaway winners. I put this in the giveaway. So, what they are is they're by Echo Tools. I have three of them. I might have bought four. I'm not sure. And um, it's a contour perfecting applicator. Isn't that cool? Look at the point on that. That point is really good if you want to. We can contour anywhere with it. I mean, you can take it and contour your cheekbones. You can go around, you know, the outer of the face. But I love this point, especially to take your contour with the point. And to go like this and really chisel out and like that and really chisel out your jawline so anyway I got three of these okay and I might have gotten four I think I got four and then because for a dollar a piece you guys I want to have them for the you know a nice little stockpile um, plus I, I think I got four for myself and then one for uh, putting a giveaway so fabulous in my get ready with me video um, I always need these stylus pens. I have them all over my house. I have them in my purses. I have them everywhere, but I really like this one right here. It was in pink, in a metallic pink. Should have bought a couple more of these. It's like your readers. You need them everywhere. Because I have nails. Even when I don't have nails, I if I'm on a pho the phone and I need to dial stuff, or just like on my iPad, I'd rather use a stylus. So I have these all over my house, but I love it in this metallic -y pink. So pretty. Do you guys like my nails? Look, I blinged them out with rhinestones. And I just went on a, that's what my thumbs look like. I just went on um, eBay and ordered a bunch more, um, even more just gorgeous um, nail uh, stones. So I'm excited. So when I do them again, they'll be even better. But I think these turned out good for my very first time. I love them. Okay, anyway. Um, this I thought was cute. You guys know I said I created that, like, let's just call it like a little candy land in my, um, craft room. And I thought this would be cute to put in that, um, milk glass that has all of my bunny ears. Um, this is a unicorn. See, look. Isn't it cute? I already opened it up so I wanted to check it out. Yeah, it's, it's cute. 
I'll show it to you. It comes like this. So you put this in here and then um, it comes with these sticks and these, so you do something, I think you crack them and then you can um, make them into the little, like little ears on the sides. And once you crack them, then that's when it starts lighting up. So I just thought it'd be cute, cute to have in my little Candyland world in my craft room. So. I love unicorns and anything that's childlike, I like. Okay. I bought these. Um, I love cotton candy and I love cotton candy flavored everything. I bought those cotton candy, they're by Redbird. There were these little candies that were like those mints or those butter mints, like that texture, but they were cotton candy flavored and they were like this big. They're all gone. They don't have them anymore. But anyway, I wanted to, um, on my candy station in my, um, in my little cotton candy world there, or cotton candy, just let's call it a candy world, whatever it is. Um, let's call it a sweet treats world. There we go. My sweet treats world. I wanted to put some of these in one of the jars or something like that. So, and it's cotton candy bubble gum. And I have bought two of those. I already opened up one. They're delicious. They're divine. Okay. Um, like I need another one of these, but I don't care. I love it. I only, I bought two others. Now I have three or four. I can't remember if I bought three or bought four. This is either my third or my fourth one. You guys look at this pretty shell. And look at the pen, how pretty it is. Oh, and then this is like, uh, this, so this just looks like, it looks like cotton candy with a shell on top. But it's a little pink puff ball and then a pink pen. Look how pretty it is. This is one of the prettiest pom-pom pins that I've seen at Dollar Tree. I'm just curious on how it writes. It doesn't matter because these I use, I basically get them for the decor. Oh, it writes decent. It writes good. Not like this, you know, this more smoothest writing, but it writes nice, but it doesn't matter. It's adorable. And then, um, this is probably my third one of these, but I like to hang these off of everything, off my purse, off my project bags, off my makeup bags. This one doesn't have a little thing, so I can't hang anything off of it, but, and this is kind of too big, but anyway, you know, hanging things off, like off your makeup bags and stuff like that. So, and then I got another one, got two more. Oh my God. This one doesn't have its, um, it doesn't have the thing to hang, you know, the keychain part of it fell off. Anyway, I bought a purple one and and they're like um, little kitty ones. Or these give them, to me, they're little bunny ones. I'm sure people are like, that's with cat ears. I'm going to call them bunny ears. But well, you call them whatever you want. So two more puff balls and to hang, you know, off your purse or your project bags or your makeup bags. Whatever you want to do. And then this one is the same one, but look, the little thing to hang it off is gone. Maybe I can take it back and trade it for one that has it. I'm just getting my receipt out over here. I think this is the receipt. I'll try to take that back and get one that has the little hanger for it. Okay, so that's, that was a nice bag of just goodies. Loved it. Loved it. And I love these. This is my third one. I said I love these because it looks like so Lisa Frank, doesn't it? Love it. I love taking those pom poms and hanging them from everything. From my, like I said, from my purses, my handbags, my project bags, little makeup bags, just everything. Okay. If I can hang a pom pom from it, I do. All right. Oh, it's another good little bag. Yeah, I went crazy on a lot of pom-poms because, okay, this is why I went crazy on all this kind of stuff, pens and pom-poms. There's a Dollar Tree right, there's a Dollar Tree by my house that's like uh, around the corner. It's like seconds, 30 seconds and I'm there. 
you guys, they're, um, what is that section called? Well, by the registers, they always have this kind of stuff, but also they have that section, fun finds. My fun find section there is huge. They made that fun find section the hugest one I've ever seen, and it's fully stocked. I mean, and they keep it fully stocked. Like, it's overload over there. You will go nuts at my store. It's the, uh, it's the biggest fun finds I've ever seen at all my stores, all my Dollar Trees I go to. Okay, I bought this one before, but I bought another one. Look at this. I probably have three or four of these. I love the unicorn one in purple. Look at the little unicorn at the top. <gasps> and the pen's purple. Fabulous. And then here's another one. I'm going to call it bunny ears, but I know you guys are calling it cat ears. I bought another pink one. And look at the little the bling on the ears. <gasps> so cute. And I wanted a bunch. Oh, here's another one. I think I bought two of them. Yeah, I did. So I just think the pink ones are so pretty. And I love it. I love the glitter on the ears. And I love how light and pretty the pink is. These aren't always easy to find. That's why, why I want a little ham on the lighter ones. Because the little pastel ones, you see a lot of the bright pink. But I don't always see the pretty pastel -y pink. I got three of the donuts. I probably have all these colors but I bought three more. So this one's more of a more of a hot pink. Look how cute. And I love anything donuts. This I'm calling them donuts. I think that's what they what they're supposed to be called. In fact, let me just look and see. If they're calling them donuts. Oh my glasses are so smudgy. What are they calling them? They're just calling them pom-pom clips. So they're just calling them pom-poms, but I call them, I'm calling these donuts. So look at that donut in the fuchsia, the fuchsia pink. Um, here's a beautiful, beautiful pastel -y teal robin's egg, not robin's egg blue, more of a pretty pastel -y teal. Love it. And then of course a um, lavender purple. Look how pretty. And at first, when I first saw these a few years ago, I bought all three. I didn't know if I liked them that much, but as, as it grew on me, I'm like, these are like little donuts. These are adorable. So as soon as I started seeing them as donuts, um, yeah, I was right in there. Okay, remember I told you I thought I bought four of these, and the plus I bought another one today? I did. So here's the other one of those. <coughs> you guys, I'm sure, I don't know how much these were. I think they have Echo is at uh, Walmart, Target, probably at both. These are probably at least five or six dollars. They weren't a dollar. I know that. I saw somebody doing a makeup video and they said this magnifying glass was awesome. So I picked up a couple of these. This one's in purple. I think I have another one in pink in another bag. This works really good. I opened up my husband's and I used it. It's a magnifying. So I should always say what things are. It's a magnifying mirror with a light. So you just press this right here and there's the light. See? And it lights up. This is fabulous, especially if you're getting older and you've got some bad eyes. Or the writing's just so damn small, you can't see. So, and it's really nice and thin. That's what I like. So I have, I've got two of them. So I can have one in my office and then one in my purse. Fabulous. If I see, when I see more, I'll probably pick up a couple more of those. Those are like just having those thin magnets that I love. Having quite a few of those around. Yeah. Love. Okay. Next. This is gonna be a long Dollar Tree, I think, because <laughs> we first we started out in you know, uh, basically the land of sweets world in my craft room, and now we're in here. Okay, um, I picked up one more of these just because there was just one sitting there. I've bought in so many of these. These socks are the bomb. They're crew, and look, it's mermaid tails. I have tons of these. Um. And I have tons of this one too, the unicorn. I just picked up three more. So I probably have six, seven pairs of each. But I love to wear cute socks around my house. And I like to have a nice, you know, a fresh pair for every day. More than accomplish the goal. But you guys, you know what I found? I don't think it's in this video, but I found um, the ice cream cone ones. I can't wait. 
to show you those. I'm looking for the donut ones, though. They have two donuts. I haven't seen the donut ones yet, so hopefully I find those. Um, minced garlic. I already bought one of these before, but I thought I need to have a backup. I am loving this. Not having to chop up garlic. Because my garlic was going... This is how I... Just me and my husband in the house. So, and I'm the only one that really puts garlic in everything. And so my, my garlic cloves, fresh ones, were spoiling. And that's how little I was... I mean, I use them, but I can't use them fast enough. So, anyway, this is a lot better. And I don't have to chop up the garlic, so I save time. Oh, man, this is what's in here. Getting smashed. Just a second. It's one of the wall decals. No major. We can get it flattened back out. But I thought this was such a pretty one. It said bloom from within. Look how beautiful that is. Bloom from within. This would be beautiful um, to put on in my mixed media, to put on a, the top of a mixed media page. Or um, it'd be beautiful, um, it'd be beautiful on a wall. But also on a notebook. That would be gorgeous. If you could fit it on a notebook, I think that one, that whole piece is, I think that's a whole piece. Yeah, it is. So I don't think that would fit. But you could cut this in half and fit it in a, um, if you do mixed media, in, in your mixed media journal. That'd be gorgeous. And that's what I got it for. It's very pretty. But it'd be, this would be pretty on the wall somewhere. Especially in a bathroom up above the mirror. That'd be gorgeous. Okay. Now that I said that, I could be doing that. Um, from Crackers Corner, just to kind of just always, sometimes I pick up a couple packs of my glue sticks just to keep my glue stick staff going. I always have probably eight to 10 glue sticks, bags of glue sticks on hand, but just to kind of make sure I have enough. Um, these are so cute. It says the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Eleanor Roosevelt, and I love the gym catcher on it. And it's like a little book. It's a little book of inspirational quotes. Let me see how this is packaged up. Oh, okay. And I think they're meant to almost be like cards, but they're inspirational card books. Somebody was saying that. But I got them because I love inspirations, and I like to put inspirational sayings in my artwork. So um, I want to have them right on hand. And what, how much, what better way to have them right on hand? In beautiful books like this so I can have them in my um in my art room in my art studio and this one says it always I, I don't it's hard for me to open this up right now so I'll just read what's in the center of this one it says it always seems impossible until it's done it's not the truth and guess who said that Nelson Mandela oh that's a beautiful saying dream no small dreams for they have no power to move the hearts of men. Let me read that again. Dream no small dreams, for they have no power to move the hearts of men. I think it's John Wolfgang von Guth is the one who wrote that. Isn't that the truth? Dream no small dreams, for they have no power to move hearts of men. Isn't that true? The biggest dreams are the ones that move people. Like the one we have now about Black Lives Matter. That's a big dream, you know? A, I mean, huge, huge, which is why it is moving people now, you know? Small dreams don't move people. Big dreams move people. Impossible dreams move people. That is good. So this whole book is filled with beautiful inspiration. So excited to keep this in my art room so I can um, put quotes in my artwork. Here's another one of those type of books. It says, he who plants... A tree plants hope. Oh, I love that saying too. Again, it's another one of those books. These make great gifts too. Um, just by themselves to give somebody a gift, it's great. Also, if you're making a beauty basket, to sit, stick this in a beauty basket. Oh, fabulous. This one says, there are no goodbyes for us. Wherever you are, you will always be in my heart. Uh, by Gandhi. Like a bird singing in the rain, let grateful memories survive in the time of sorrow. Robert Louis Stevenson. So again, it's a book, and like I said, it's just full of beautiful quotes. And look at the look at the um, artwork on the front. And this is what it looks like on the back. 
okay and then i think i have four of them yeah here's another one do more of what makes you happy that is one of my favorite things isn't this fabulous looking love all the colors oh look at it inside it's teal with white writing that's beautiful okay it says um do more of what makes you happy and that is by oh the author's unknown Everything you can imagine is real, and that's by uh, Picasso. So, that's really cool. You guys, these would be, I wish I would have picked up two of each, because I haven't seen these since then, since I bought these. Oh, the stuff I bought here was probably like a mixture of a week or two weeks ago, something like that. So, because I just got those Echo brushes. Oh, I took two hauls and put them together, because the Echo brushes I just found, those Echo sponge brush I just found last week. So, and this time I found the week before that or something, or two weeks before. I don't know. Anyway, here's the next one. This is what it looks like. Look how pretty. And the front cover says Pathways. If the path, if the path be beautiful, let us not ask where it leads. That's beautiful. And I can't see for the life of me who wrote this. So just a second, let me put my readers on. It says, um, and tool France. Hmm. Okay. And this is what this one looks like inside. And yeah, I think these come with an envelope because that's what people are saying. You can give them like cards. Yeah. They come with an envelope so you can give this and this can be a card. I should have given this to my uh, mother-in-law for Mother's Day. Anyway, that's the inside. Okay, and it says, One's destination is never a place, but a new way of seeing things. One's destination is never a place, but it's a, few, but it's a new way of seeing things. Henry Miller. Wonderful saying. Wonderful quote. There is no path to happiness. Happiness is the path. Oh. And it says, Buddha. I love that. Yeah, they come with an envelope, you guys. So, um, this one, can I get this one? This one seems like it has a, it's almost open. Wait a second. Sometimes, you gotta use your teeth. There was already a little hole, so it wasn't that bad. I don't want you guys to see at least one of them open so you can see the... Oh, kind of bent the envelope. But anyway, yeah. See, so here's the, that's the back. And here's the front. And then here's the envelope. See, an envelope comes with it. So that's how all of them are. If you're going to use it that way. I wish I would have bought a bunch of these because these would have been great. These would have made great cards. You can give it to somebody for their birthday, for Mother's Day. If I ever see these again, I'll buy a couple of each one. Oh, look how nice that fits. So I put it inside, and look how nice that fits in there. Yeah, that's a, that's beautiful. Yeah, if I see these again, I'm definitely going to buy a couple each so I can use, send them. These would be great to send with friend mail, too. Love it. Oh, okay, here, here's a couple more quotes. The journey is the reward. It says, Chinese proverb. It is good to have... It is good to have an end to journey toward it, it's it is good to have an end to journey toward but it is the journey that matters in the end that's the truth uh your sola k gwen i believe i always try to remember that saying because i'm always trying to hurry and i think you know what why are you not enjoying the process, enjoying the journey to get there? Calm down, relax, and enjoy the process. Like even for this video, it's like, okay, let me hurry up and get all the stuff together. Enjoy getting all the stuff together. Now enjoy the Dollar Tree haul. Like stop stressing out and not enjoying the process or the journey, but it's so true. Okay, so these are fabulous. And I seen people haul these like last year or six months ago, something like that. And I never seen them until you know, a couple weeks ago. So we'll keep that garlic in there. In fact, you know, these would probably make, I'm going to keep these out. This will make a great, um, 
thumbnail. Okay. That's going to be a really good thumbnail. Okay. Oh my God, this video is so long. Um, how many minutes do we have there? It's going to be a long Dollar Tree haul. Okay, um, I just thought this was really cute. I love coloring books. And look how big this is. I think she is so precious. And I love my adult coloring books. But I've been looking at some of the children ones. And they're super, super cute. And she's really cute. This is Disney Junior Fancy Nancy. I mean, look how cool this would be to color this. I love it. I absolutely love it. And it matches my craft room, so I'll probably display it in my craft room also. Look at her with the dog. I love Fancy Nancy. She is so adorable. Look at all this stuff to color. And it's by Disney, so of course it's fun to color, you know? And the paper is, um, it's not completely white, but it's not really, really super beige out either, so it'll color up nice. It's really, really cute, you guys. I love it. And look at coloring big like this. How fun. So until I get to coloring this, if I ever get to coloring it, I have so much stuff I'm always doing with my art. But um, I will uh, display it in my craft room, though. Okay. Oh. Okay, some more coloring books that I got. Are these I won't even really go through them but what I liked about them is they're more children's coloring books but look they're purses oh my god these are so cute so I bought three of them um, I noticed that they had one but then they had three I was like oh how cute like okay for example look how cute this would be to color love it and like I said I mostly buy adult coloring books but these were so cute look at this one it's in the, they're in the shape of a purse so these are being really cute to also display in my craft room. Like this, I think is so cute to color. It's two of them having, well, look at this one with makeup. Her with all of her makeup and stuff. Really cute. And I just love this. I think they'd be cute displayed in my craft room. Like I said, here's my last one. Little purse. Oh, this would be cute too um, as a... Um, Look at this, how cute. You got a blow dryer, hairspray, and a brush, and a mirror. Yeah, super cute, absolutely love all three of these. See, that'd be another good thumbnail. Okay, then I got this little love sign with the heart. So cute. I thought this would be something cute to add to my background, which I don't have any more room for my Candyland background, or just to hang in my craft room. And or my bathroom. My bathroom looks like all this stuff that I'm showing you too. Let's be mermaids. Did I say what this one says? Choose love. I thought that was just so pretty and pink and girly like I love. This one is a surfboard and it says let's be mermaids. I love mermaids, fairies, unicorns. And it's in pink, of course. I love it. Any of that would be so cute for my thumbnail. Okay. <clears throat> okay <clears throat> I don't know why some things just don't hit me right away these are like the macaroons and I bought tons of them then these hearts came out these little hearts like this and I did not buy a bunch of these you guys I bought these at the very tail end they had this one and a white one and I didn't pick up the white one I went back the next day to get the white one it was gone I don't know what my problem was with not picking these up. I wish I would have got all the colors. They had robin's egg blue, they had turquoise, they had pink, they had purple, they had all the colors. So I'm assuming that they'll bring these out again. You guys, things like this are just gorgeous for gifts. Put a little something in it and give it as a gift. Put it as decor in your craft room or your bathroom or wherever, or your bedroom. I love them. And so if I see these again, I'm going to buy several of each for decor purposes and for gifts. This would be great in a beauty basket. Isn't that fabulous? Why would I not buy these? I, I don't know. They didn't hit me at first. Things like that happen to me sometimes. I think my mind is, you know, I'm in there for certain other things. And so I just don't 
doesn't register. Oh, okay, I said that. Just a second, just a second, maybe. Oh. Okay, this is what happened, I guess. Okay, I, I, I passed on these things at first, and then I finally found them, and I went ham. Like I thought I would. sometimes okay so I did smarten up I did find them again and I got three of them <laughs> one two three I thought I only got the one but I'm when I found these I said these I got like probably two weeks ago when I found the one maybe there was three more sitting there so I picked them all up and I ever since I seen them two weeks ago I'm like when I see these I'm picking them up so obviously I picked up three I finally picked up the one yay Look at me, surprising myself. Okay. We'll see if I pick up any more of those. I know I got, I might have got another pink one at another time. I don't know. You know what, I don't even know. Okay, I get my, okay, I'm gonna talk about these really quick. I get my scrubbies there. This is so mundane. I hate talking about mundane stuff, but you guys, things like this at the grocery store, Scrubs like this will cost you three or four dollars. Get them at the Dollar Tree. This brand right here is the bomb. I don't cook. I can only cook in stainless steel and iron skillets. So something rough and really harsh to really scrub something. These are the bomb. I use them in my iron skillets and my stainless steel. Okay. Um, I just need this nail polish remover. Um, I need. Is this the acetone? I didn't even need this. I don't know why I bought another one of these, you guys. But I already have like eight of these. I stocked up on the um, pure acetones. I have so much pure acetone that I didn't just have regular nail polish to take off the polish. So anyway, I picked some up today. But here, this is acetone to soak off my nails. The reason I have eight bottles of acetone is because when we, go, when we did this whole lockdown thing, people could not find anything. They said they couldn't find acetone to soak off their nails. So that's why I bought ten. Ten or eight or whatever. So that I don't, I can, I bought a bunch of my nails. I bought all my stuff so I don't have to worry because everybody was doing their own nails and nobody could find anything. So on the stuff, I just bought a bunch. So, and if we go back on there, like it looks like we're going to, I have stuff now to do my own nails. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, my husband, I make my own toothpaste out of um, Redmond Clay peppermint essential oils, and a thing called xylitol. It's an all-natural white sugar, but it's all-natural. It comes from a plant. And um, I make my own toothbrush. It's a powder. It's my own toothpaste. It's a powder. But my husband loves this. I keep telling him he should use mine. It strengthens your teeth and your gums. Truly strengthens your teeth and gums. It's the bomb. Okay, but he likes that, so. Say lovey. Um, let me put this, all this back. Oh, um, you know what? I don't want those to break. Okay. What is this? Just a second. All right. This might be something that. Oh, okay. I forgot, I forgot about these. Love these. And okay, oh, this is another thing I sat on for a while. Good vibes. Aren't these not fabulous? Look at this. This would have cost you. Seven or eight dollars at Hobby Lobby. This would have cost you seven or eight dollars at Hobby Lobby. These things are like oh, great gifts. I want to make three tier trays here in my um, at my kitchen bar here. So that's gonna go on my three, uh, three tier tray. If not four tier tray, I bought another one of these. It says "Keep Life Simple." I love that saying. You know what? Let me just keep these out. Uh, let it go. I love that too. Isn't that the truth? Let it go. How much stuff in your life do you just need to let it go? I know. I know, people. I know. Okay. Is that everything? Yes. Okay. We're almost done, you guys. We're getting there. You know what? 
I think I'm going to end this Dollar Tree here. Because you guys know it, I have so much more. And where are we out with this video? Yeah, we got to cut it here. Okay, I put two Dollar Tree hauls together. And um, it's way more than I thought it was when I put the two Dollar Tree hauls together. So I'll add this stuff to another haul. Okay, you guys, that is it for this one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Is that a bug? Okay. Yeah, that was a bug, but it's dead. Gross. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed starting off in my craft room and then ending up here at my kitchen bar where we normally at face to face. And um, let me know down below um, if you saw anything you liked, um, what's on your hot list. Let me know. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. You can give this video a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram, and I'll talk to you guys next video.